unless we change the economic system of this country and world, we simply will not save the environment. The wealthy are not going to change the world. And I watch this all my life. Or those who work with the wealthy have to only say certain things because they only allow you to say certain things. And therefore, you can't talk about what has to be done honestly because you're, you're always beholding to the wealth of the world. For more than 40 years, this Kentucky priest with a doctorate in chemistry has advocated from Washington to the hollers of Appalachia for making the world a safer and greener place to live. I was never a capitalist in my life. I always despised people who were getting large amounts of money and I always thought the money belonged to all the people. His love for the land and people grow from his Appalachian roots. He sees injustices in economic inequality and practices that harm nature and are harmful to the human soul. It was the only time that this parish had a whole bunch of visitors. <laughs> and he gets up in the middle of it and says I was a communist and he and his wife walked out. What was I talking about? Is give us this day our daily bread. And I was saying that it is wrong that some people have tax havens in the world which are equivalent to between 20 and $30 trillion. And at the same time, we have people in the world who are hungry. I said, giving us our daily bread, we don't ask God to make a miracle happen. We've got to do it ourselves because we're Christ operating in the world. And therefore, we've got to change the system that allows this tremendous concentration of wealth in the hands of some and the complete lack of having food in the other. Changing views on the economy in coal country, where little opportunity exists, will take a different train of thought. We have to take measures that will make the system change. And one measure is minimum wages, sure. Maximum wages, sure. Maximum wages, what, a, what is a maximum wage? Enough that a person can live on. 100,000 a year, possibly, if they can live on that, maybe a little bit more, but don't have it over that. Tax it. What we're really looking for is a cooperative type of government. And investment should be always done on the local level. And so you'd say, well, where do you have examples of this? It's extremely hard in our capitalistic system that we've got set up to make changes and alternatives. It's like us biking all over the country when you've got interstate highway system that doesn't allow you on the highway. <laughs>